Hi, this is Bob Miglani, best-selling author of Embrace the Chaos. Good morning. Today, I want to do, uh, share with you uh, that uh, sleep has been difficult the last few days. It's been difficult because of the heaviness I think I feel uh, with the uh, coronavirus pandemic that is, seems to be looming everywhere. I wanted to share with you uh, sort of the journey of dealing with anxiety and stress in these times of uncertainty and change and, and disruption and chaos, really. Uh, and um, one of the things that I think, one of the reasons I think uh, that many of us, I don't know if you're feeling this way uh, yourself, uh, are not getting, many of us are not getting good sleep and disturbed sleep uh, is because life has been interrupted. You know, the typical patterns that we typically have of going to bed at a certain time, waking up at a certain time, and these habits that we have uh, been accustomed to for so long have been completely disrupted as a result of social isolation and you know the, the isolation that we have now being at home, not being able to go anywhere. But one of the things that I realize uh, of, of the sort of the cause of this is that we're going to bed watching often the news, you know, what's happening with the coronavirus update in my area, in my town, in my state, in my country. We are waking up, looking at what's happening on Twitter and LinkedIn and all these different messages and emails and, and the news about what's happening with the coronavirus. We're, it's 24-7 coronavirus. And even if you turn on Netflix, so which is what I tried to do last night before I went to bed to watch a little bit of Netflix, you the, the top things you see, pandemic. You know, you see this show, pandemic. You see the movie, Contagion. It's like, oh my God, death, doom, and destruction everywhere. So I, you know, I don't, I, I think that um, a lot of this, this lack of sleep that I've been certainly feeling Disturbed sleep over the last several days has been a result of just too much coronavirus going into my head. And you can't help it, right? You can't help it because your work has been interrupted. Your life has been interrupted. Kids are home. Uh, so all of these issues, the market is crashing, right? So all of these things, you can't help but you know, th think about all those things and see those things. And then you take that internally. You internalize it. And the mind just keeps racing and racing and racing because there's no way out. You don't see a way out. What I did last night, I think, was somewhat useful, which was that I, it wasn't a snow day. You know, I, I didn't go to bed so late. I went to bed relatively early. I woke up somewhat, you know, better rested than I did in the past few days. And I think it's largely because I just shut off the text messages you know, from friends and colleagues and others about all this, what's happening, the market crashing and futures are up or down or, you know, you know, you know, to July. I mean, all these messages that came that you're getting as well, I'm sure uh, that, you know, from, I just turned it off. I just stopped. And, and I think the, the, the issue is that's going to be there, right? Whether or not you are a absorbing those messages the message, the world will continue to do what it's going to do. And we're going to see how this coronavirus plays out. And you don't have much control over that. The only thing you can do is control yourself and how you manage around that. That's really the key. I don't know if it's helpful to you, but I have realized that years ago when I went through this uncertainty and change, and that's why I wrote the book Embrace the Chaos, my own journey of learning to deal with change and uncertainty and anxiety and stress in a changing world that we live in. And that's what I learned years ago. And I'm trying to relearn that as we go through this, this um, crisis, this pandemic that we have looming at us. Uh, so really to focus on realizing that we don't have much control over this, what's going to happen in the external world. You really, you cannot control this. And I think that's really the root of so much of our stress, anxiety, and lack of sleep for many of us, including myself, you know, lack of sleep and disturbed sleep, right? Because you go to bed with it, you feel like, oh my God, I've lost control, you know? And I know organizational, you know, CEOs of companies and, or, you know, people who have lots of small businesses and they have employees, they feel completely a loss of control. 
because this thing came out of nowhere and has completely disrupted and changed and is going to change forever the businesses that we have. And, and so we feel this loss of control. And what I say is, you know, you never had control in the first place. We don't have much control. We think we have a lot of control, but we don't. I have tough time, believe me, you know, I have kids here, I have three kids. I have tough time controlling my kids to think I can control this, this thing called job, work, career, life, this, this pandemic. So the only thing you can really do is control yourself. And that's really liberating. And so what I did yesterday, last night, which I just controlled what I put into my mind very proactively, very thoughtfully. Uh, I read something, you know, somewhat positive. I tried to get away because the thing is you can't, you can't help that, but get back into that device to see what else is happening. What's the update? Refresh, refresh, refresh. What's happening with the pandemic? How many more people? And, and it's that frenzy. And even when you go to these other, you know, platforms to entertain yourself, it's death, doom, and destruction. When you look at the algorithm that is, you know, the top 10 movies or shows on Netflix, it's these things filled with anxiety and stress and violence and, you know, pandemic, contagion, you know, the world is ending kind of thing. And so just stop. 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 And that's what I realized to do. I just stopped. I just stopped forcing myself to look at all this negativity before I went to bed to... Um, to read something interesting and positive, to shut off the phone, really, really shut off the phone. It's hard. It's very hard because you want to be updated, right? So just control that. Control that part and go to bed at a decent time. That's really the key. So for me, that helped uh, very much uh, last night as I went to bed and, and, and this morning. And I wanted to share that with you. I thought that might be helpful is really controlling what you put into your head. Because I always like to say is, you know, you put a seed into your mind and you harvest the reward the rest of the day. So what's that seed that you're planting into your mind? If you're planting the seed of death, doom, destruction, and gloom, pandemic, coronavirus, 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 all you're planting is that seed. Look, it's not going to change. You know, I mean, it's going to change, right? But you can't control that, right? You can't control it. It's going to do what it's going to do. And so being informed about it I don't know how useful that is because you know what you have to do. Wash your hands, social distancing, isolation, self-quarantine, all these things. You know what you have to do. And for an hour before you go to bed, just stop. And that's, that's what I did. I just, I just stopped putting all that, those seeds into my head. And I found the sleep somewhat restful. And then the second thing is really to exercise in the morning. Do their daily habits. Stop looking at the phone in the morning. It's hard because you want to know what happened overnight. Did we change? Did the world, did, like what happened, right? I know, but an hour is not going to make a big difference, right? So that's my tip for today. Hopefully this is helpful to you. I'm going to start sharing some of these tips that I've, you know, sort of this journey of change and disruption. Hopefully it's helpful to you in your life. Uh, this is Bob McLaney. I do this because I want to try to help and share in anything that might be helpful to you. This is Bob Miglani with love and respect for all that you do. Have a great rest of the day. And remember, focus on what you control. Put positive seeds into your mind and get a, hopefully you get a good night's sleep and a good rest of the day. Okay, have a good day. Take care. Bye.